Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to start with the treasure hunt super street challenge. Let's look at the clue. Open the hatch and turn up the heat to top the podium of these super streets. Now, I did attempt this once already and I'll show you what not to do and then we'll get into what we should do. Okay, so as you can see my car up at the top is a 2011 Volkswagen Scirocco R. Um, you're going to want to hit Y for filter. You're going to want to go down. Now it said open the hatch, right? So we have hot hatch. And I was like, okay, let's do that. And then I was like, wait a minute. There's there's other cars because it's not showing me the car that's in the picture. And I was like, okay. And I thought it was showing me the Civic. That's where I was wrong. So I went down and I was like, where is it? Where is it? And I was like, oh, retro hot hatch. And then I looked at them. I was like, no, I'm just going to run a hot hatch. Super hot hatch. Why are there so many damn hot hatch categories? Guys, come on. Okay. So, here's what you have to run. One of these, and I would say you have to win a street race. So, that's what I, that's where my mistake was. Because here's the car in the picture, and then the Civic is this one. Okay, makes sense. Now, I want to run something that's not too crazy competition wise like I don't want to be running an s2 in this I just don't um oh I know I'm gonna run this I've used this before we just used this the other week for a challenge and it's pretty good all-wheel drive I'm going to try my hand at it. And this is the race I already run. So let's run it again. Now it says top the podium, which that's just other speak for win. Open hatch. So we got to use a hatch. And then it said super street. So I didn't, I didn't pick up on that being, you know, an operative word. So I'm sure I can make... <clears throat> excuse me short work of these guys I already did once but it just didn't give me the uh, the chest location so hopefully this will save you guys a little trouble remember we need super hot hatch and you need to win a streets uh, street race street scene event whatever whatever it is whatever this thing is to you it goes by both names in the game at times okay here we go so the first part is going to start off a little slow for you as far as like who you pass but then by here at least on this Coso Rocosa track I found myself in a similar situation I think I was right here I was in third going into this turn and then after this turn I was in first so, yeah, this is about the same, because I was mixing it up with this guy through here. Similar difficulty, you know, similar color, so. Alright, so now we just have 70% more of the race. And we need to keep ahead of them, keep running. They actually finished pretty close to me. Towards the end. After this, we'll take a look at the photo challenge, which takes usually a couple seconds to complete. Once you get the car and fast travel, you just hit up on the uh, D-pad and then hit your right button to take a quick picture. And that will be satisfied. Then we'll take a little bit longer to do the um, drift skills challenge in Horizon Open Drifting. had to look online for this one um, I believe it was on reddit if you guys don't have reddit or don't use reddit there's a uh, no it was it was on something else but the reddit is pretty good as far as like talking about Forza figuring stuff out I really like this car. Understeering a little bit. As it usually does. 
Nice turn there. <laughs> that was awesome. Cut back in front of him. All right. So this should give us the location here right now. Should pop up. Boom. Come on. There we go. So we're going to press X. It has to run through these. There we go. Where is it? There we go. Now let's go do the photo challenge. Festival playlist. Go over here. We got to do the 08 and again here. Okay. So let's just change our car. That was uh, fortuitous, huh? So we got to go all the way to R for Renault. Okay, 08, this one. And as soon as we get here, we're out on the road. I'm going to pull in. Up on the D-pad, spam that RB button. Let's look for the check marks. There we go. So that's done. Get out of there. So win a street race in a 77 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. So let's go get ours. Go to P. It's a long way. M-N-O-P. Okay. I forget which one this is. Like, as far as performance class. Please still be A. It's B? Nice. Okay. So... We're going to go here. We're going to look for just street races. Now, I could do the same one because I've been doing it, but I won't do that to you guys. We'll do a different one. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm still in manual transmission. I don't want to do that. So we will change that. Okay. There we go. So this is the daily. I believe by the time we get in and um, actually get it done, it should be live and then we'll get it. This one drifts not too bad as well. I mean, it's definitely not a drift car, but it can drift. Let's do it. Man, it switched out of first quick. Wow. This thing is a beast. I'm confused. It's not even at the top. It's not even B700. Took that wrong. Alright, so I'm going to let off, brake a little bit, try to get back onto the racing line. Also in street scene, I have no idea why, we're racing on you know, asphalt, blacktop. There's like all these weird dirt vehicles in here, and, they, and they're all pretty competitive. Like the guy behind me in second is in like that Toyota Baja truck. One of the good things, like one of the only good things about street racing or street scene events is the fact that there are no laps. Yeah, this... <laughs> I, f I found its weakness. Why it's rated so low. 
Horrible handling. Halfway there. It definitely has speed, that's about all it has. Once you get into these situations here, you gotta slow so far down. Pretty competitive. The launch was awesome, but once those guys get up to speed, yeah. See, that's the thing. I just can't, I got seventh gear. That's that's it. That's the difference. You can just check out until you have to turn. But there we are. There's today's daily challenge. 1977 Pontiac Trans Am win a street race. Woo! That was there quick. we go. What's he talking about? Very quick. Do we know how quick? No? Anyway, it was quick. Well done. Thanks, dude. Alright, so there's the daily. I got it instead of doing the uh, Horizon Open. I hate doing that because you have to wait so long sometimes. Any of the Horizon Open stuff. But we did get the treasure hunt done. Um, the location of it is at the um, Street Scene Festival. As you can see in the picture there. You need to use a super hot hatch to win a street race event. And then that will spawn and you can, you can bust it open. Uh, photo challenge, same place. At the street scene uh, festival, the outpost, take a picture of the 2008 Renault Magan R26.R, R, whatever that is. Um, but that's it for this one. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any seasonal championships today or any playground games. Now I have to watch because I don't want to get um, behind. So we have five daily challenges left one two three four five six seven eight hmm yeah i'm gonna have to step it up but anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of stuff i'm here every day playing forza horizon 5 mostly the festival playlist and uh daily challenges that kind of stuff um other times some things uh pop up we, we can get that done take care of that i think i'm going to be adding Goodness, I think I'm going to be adding some new games to the uh, repertoire, if you will, to the mix. Um, but we'll see. They'll be in addition to any of my Forza content for the time being, if I do that. So look forward to that. I'm also going to be um, trying to bring back some of my unboxings for the, uh, the diecast portion of my channel. Showcasing my collection and just some of the stuff I think that's cool. Um... People seem to really like those. Like the one video I have on my channel has like, I'm, I'm just getting ready to hit 90,000. And I never thought, never thought in a million years when I was making that video that that many people would see it. So I'm going to try and make uh, another one of those or a couple more of those and uh, see if we can replicate that. Because that'll be good for the channel. You know, get more people in here, maybe get monetized. We'll see. Um, but then again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the views and, uh, you guys taking the time out to see what I do. So thank you for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe maybe some other time, but probably tomorrow in the next one. Later.